bending of sheet metal is a common and vital process in manufacturing industry. Sheet metal bending is the plastic deformation of the work over an axis, creating a change in the part's geometry. Bending processes differ in the methods they use to plastically deform the sheet or plate. Workpiece material, size and thickness are important factors when deciding on a type of metal bending process. Also important is the size of the bend, bend radius, angle of bend, curvature of bend and location of bend in the workpiece. Sheet metal process design should select the most effective type of bending process based on the nature of the desired bend and the work material. One of the most common types of sheet metal manufacturing processes is V-bending. The V-shaped punch forces the work into the V-shaped die and hence bends it. This type of process can bend both very acute and very obtuse angles, also anything in between, including 90 degrees. Edge Bending with Wiping Die Edge bending is another very common sheet metal process and is performed with a wiping die. Edge bending gives a good mechanical advantage when forming a bend. However, angles greater than 90 degrees will require more complex equipment, capable of some horizontal force delivery. Also, wiping die employed in edge bending must have a pressure pad. The action of the pressure pad may be controlled separately than that of the punch. Basically the pressure pad holds a section of the work in place on the die, the area for the bend is located on the edge of the die and the rest of the work is held over space like a cantilever beam. The punch then applies force to the cantilever beam section, causing the work to bend over the edge of the die. Rotary Bending Rotary bending forms the work by a similar mechanism as edge bending. However, rotary bending uses a different design than the wiping die. A cylinder, with the desired angle cut out, serves as the punch. The cylinder can rotate about one axis and is securely constrained in all other degrees of motion by its attachment to the saddle. The sheet metal is placed cantilevered over the edge of the lower die, similar to the setup in edge bending. Unlike in edge bending, with rotary bending, there is no pressure pad. Force is transmitted to the punch causing it to close with the work. The groove on the cylinder is dimensioned to create the correctly angled bend. The groove can be less than or greater than 90 degrees allowing for a range of acute and obtuse bends. The cylinder's V-groove has two surfaces. One surface contacts the work transmitting pressure and holding the sheet metal in place on the lower die. As force is transmitted through the cylinder it rotates, causing the other surface to bend the work over the edge of the die, while the first surface continues to hold the work in place. Rotary bending provides a good mechanical advantage. Air bending This air bending is not the same as the one you see in cartoons. Air bending is a simple method of creating a bend without the need for lower die geometry. The sheet metal is supported by two surfaces a certain distance apart. A punch exerts force at the correct spot, bending the sheet metal between the two surfaces. Channel Bending and U-Bending Punch and die are manufactured with certain geometries, in order to perform specific bends. Channel bending uses a shaped punch and die to form a sheet metal channel. A U-bend is made with a U-shaped punch of the correct curvature. Many bending operations have been developed to produce offsets and form the sheet metal for a variety of different functions. Forming a hollow tube Some sheet metal bending operations involve the use of more than two die. Round tubes, for example, can be bent from sheet metal using a multiple action machine. The hollow tube can be seamed or welded for joining. Corrugating two different shapes. Corrugating is a type of bending process in which a symmetrical bend is produced across the width of sheet metal and at a regular interval along its entire length. A variety of shapes are used for corrugating but they all have the same purpose, to increase the rigidity of the sheet metal and increase its resistance to bending moments. 
This is accomplished by a work hardening of the metal and a change in the sheet's moment of inertia, caused by the bend's geometry. Corrugated sheet metal is very useful in structural applications and is widely used in the construction industry. Edge bending processes sheet metal of different sizes can be bent an innumerable amount of ways, at different locations, to achieve desired part. Bending in Action 